Hi, this is Mark Goslin. We're uh, going to now keep going with the cardiopulmonary imaging master series. Uh, this session is going to be on aspiration. And aspiration is a very common thing that we see, especially in ICU patients. Um, the objectives is to understand how common it is and that it is most likely the cause of low-grade fever in these ICU patients. And as on our previous, previous episode or our previous sessions, Atelectasis is not. Atelectasis is not a cause for fever. That is a myth. And if you still teach it, you need to stop. Recognize the common imaging findings of aspiration. We'll go over them and we'll briefly just kind of review again, compare and contrast the CT enhancement of atelectasis versus consolidation. So this is an ICU patient, endotracheal tube, central line. And what we have here is bilateral lower lobe areas of ill-defined opacity. We see some of the vessels, some ground glass, other areas we don't, consistent with consolidation. What you notice though, is that margins are a little ill-defined and the patient does have a low-grade fever. Well, rather than saying, well, it's the atelectasis, no, this is more consistent with aspiration. Now, another term that is commonly used and you feel free to use it is the term retained secretions, people who just can't cough up their bronchial secretions. And that can sometimes have an overlap in appearance. So. You know, if it's clearly a big consolidation, you know, call it aspiration. If you're not sure, you know, aspiration slash retained secretions. And then again, this is most likely the cause of low-grade fevers. What does it look like? Well, it looks different than atelectasis in most cases. You might see the poorly defined three to four millimeter clustered nodules. That's really key. It spares the subpleural area. So if it looks like it's touching the pleura, that's probably more of a consolidation. This is the so-called budding tree, right? Appearance, and that's what it looks like on a radiograph, three to four millimeter nodularity. There'll be airway thickening, mucus plugging. And the other thing you might notice is you'll just gestalt the radiograph and it just looks busy. And if it looks busy and you see that kind of clustered three to four millimeter nodularity, probably some aspiration slash retained secretions. It's gravity based and that's the key thing. It just kind of goes down to the lowest point of the terminal bronchus. If you're lying on your side, that's usually part of the lung that overlies the axilla. If you're upright, it's going to be middle lobe and lower lobes. Um, that's the key. It's gravitational based. Just a quick um, statement about this so-called dense hilum or B6 sign. Anybody who's intubated or been extubated on a supine, the hilum will look big and ill-defined and dense. The hilum is not changed. That is simply atelectasis or aspiration slash retained secretions in the superior segments of the lower lobes overlapping. And this is what it looks like. Look at the hilum and the tracheal tube removed. Now look at the hilum. The hilum really are exactly the same. The pulmonary arteries haven't changed. But this ill-defined nodular kind of consolidated process and increased density, it's more white, represents the aspirated secretions that are in the superior segment. This is often misdiagnosed as pulmonary congestion and edema. It is not. It is a normal variant. Another patient, what do you see? Well, it's busy. You see a lot of three to four millimeter nodularity. It spares the subpleural. It's in the dependent portion of both lower lobes, posterior segment of the upper lobe. This is an aspiration. You can see aspiration is airway related. And you can see the dependent portion, some of it's coalescing. This is characteristic for aspiration pneumonitis. If this were a trauma patient, this is aspiration, not contusion. Why? Because contusion doesn't bleed just in the airways, right? So this is aspiration, low-grade fever. Now, just to compare again with our previous session, this is atelectasis. Notice it's got sharp margins and radiates from the hilum. That's what atelectasis is. It doesn't cause fever. This is different. Look at this, slightly busy here, right? Witnessed aspiration. You see these little three to four millimeter branching clustered nodules sparing the subpleura, dependent portion of the lung. This is aspiration pneumonitis slash retain secretions. This is a few days later. This induces a low-grade chemical pneumonitis and is a likely cause for low-grade fever. Think about it. When a patient is aspirating, they're usually kind of on their PCA pump of morphine. They're aspirating small amounts. 
when you wake them up, have them use the incentive spirometer, they <clears throat> cough it up, clear it, and the fever goes away. That has been mistaught in our, by, um, by the many generations of physicians as saying, see, that's why atelectasis causes fever. No, it was, it was aspiration all along. A uh, patient with a feeding tube going in the wrong direction, feeding up the esophagus and then down into the lung. Large amount of aspiration. You should be aware the endotracheal tube does not protect you from aspiration. It can still occur, in fact, does almost 24 seven. In this case, that aspiration is more than just an aspiration pneumonitis. That's a full on consolidation and likely high grade fevers, aspiration pneumonia. Another patient with high grade fevers, remember aspiration pneumonitis, it'll give you low grade fevers. Atelectasis gives you no fever. Aspiration-based infectious pneumonia, high grade fevers. And that can be a useful way to help differentiate the three. Okay, that's a big consolidative aspiration-based pneumonia. Word of wise, aspiration pneumonia is almost always gram negative bacteria. The so-called uh, anaerobic, that was from the 50s with the skid row bad dentation. So we don't see that as much anymore. Aspiration pneumonia should equal gram negative bacteria like Pseudomonas. Just as a review, if you have a contrast enhanced CT scan, pneumonia or consolidation enhances less than atelectasis. Atelectasis, all the vessels are together. It, it fills with the contrast and is very bright. Consolidation, the vessels are separated. It does not enhance to the same degree. It should enhance the same as the paraspinal muscles and it does, atelectasis enhances much more. So if you're someone who says it could be atelectasis or pneumonia in a CT that's contrast enhanced, you can favor one very strongly over another. So with that, uh, let's review, atelectasis is not a cause for fever. Please don't propagate that myth. It's most likely aspiration, which will be gravitational. Look for the busy clustered nodularity. Um, and remember that atelectasis and consolidation enhance differently. Thank you very much.